everything you do sounds. The piano soundboard, that thing in there, that big, huge piece of wood, is incredibly sensitive. So, for instance, if I'm going to... Many, most pianists will still make their fortes, their loud sound, by going... Falling in, using the weight, instead of standing up. Right? And even on Zoom, you can hear the difference in the sound. But listen to this. I'm going to play forte, and listen carefully. Okay, and now I'm going to play even louder, but with better organization. microphone knows the difference. <laughs> the not microphone can see the difference. So this one, all those vibrations, they go into the soundboard and that static messes with the clean vibration of the piano string. And now there's fewer of those interference vibrations. The piano string will sound better. Everything you do sounds. Your physical organization, how you move, your ability to remain in a state of unstable equilibrium and not disturb it no matter what you do the soundboard feels that and the soundboard likes it <laughs> and a violin likes it too and a guitar likes it too and a cello likes it too and even a flute likes it too the, those instruments are amazingly sensitive to every aspect of our physical state Many people, uh, I show them how to do this. My, my, many of my pianists, I, I say, stand up. And they actually, they feel so free inside that there's a certain, they're lacking a certain visceral tension. And they tell me, Professor, I feel indifferent. I, I, I don't feel like I'm involved with the music anymore. I, I feel like there's no emotion. So again, that's their subjective experience. They're so, oh, I'm so emotional. I'm so emotionally involved, and that sense of emotional involvement and emotional expression, expression is completely uh, aligned with inner tension. If I'm trying hard, then I'm emotional. And if I'm not trying hard, I'm not emotional. Whereas if you sit in the audience, it's the opposite. <laughs> the guy who's trying hard is, is shutting down the emotion. He's just strangling it. And the guy who's just there being with the music, he's opening up color worlds, emotional worlds, phrase-shaped worlds. He's shaping the invisible with his physical organization. <laughs>